SportbikeWrench.com is the exclusive sponsor of OnTheThrottle.tv. Visit SportbikeWrench.com to find the parts you see used by the pros in OTT videos. This is a wind tunnel model. Uh, it's a 45% scale, so just under half size of, the, uh, of a champ car. And um, when we mount it in the tunnel, we support it from a strut. There is a six-way uh, load cell that goes in there that measures forces in three directions and rotational moments in uh, three directions. And from that, you can calculate uh, the downforce generated by the vehicle and the uh, percentage of that that is uh, working on the front axle or the rear axle. Um, we also have load cells that mount between the body and the uh, wings so again we can measure the contribution of the wings so from that we can work out how much work the underwing is generating, how much downforce the underwing is generating and how much downforce the wings are generating. And the whole model is designed to allow uh, parts to be changed out. Um, as you see, there's various sections of bodywork that are separate, and that allows you to mix and match to develop the shape fairly easily. When this was done, the wind tunnel model was our primary mode of working out the aerodynamics on a race car. These days, um, it is used in partnership with uh, uh, computational fluid dynamics which is the virtual wind tunnel model on the screen and um, the two go hand in hand uh, at times it's easier to do it on CFD sometimes it's easier to do it on the model um, but we get very good correlation between the two different approaches this is actually a 45% uh, scale model it's quite an old wind tunnel model but it's the one we use for calibration um, Every six months or so, every few months or so, uh, we will put it back in the tunnel and run it to check that there are no variations, nothing's changed in the tunnel, so we're still getting the same uh, quality of readings from, uh, from running something in the tunnel. This building is, is purely for the wind tunnel uh, facility. When a, a customer comes and rents time on it, they have possession of the building, so we're not actually allowed in for reasons of security and. Uh, and uh, confidential information. In the days when we were racing a, a champ car and other people were racing a champ car, that was very much the case. With other projects, you know, um, our technicians and crew run the wind tunnel, so there is a certain amount of uh, involvement right. in uh, customer being here. This is the fan section, and like I say, there's a 500 horsepower DC motor in there. Basically, the air comes from the working section it gradually expands, as you see there's taper on the uh, section, it, it turns through turning vanes on the corners and then you know, the fan is pumping it through. It carries on expanding slowly to go through the uh, uh, coolers and the flow straighteners just before it goes into the contraction section. What well, looks like just a piece of mesh, what it actually is is a piece of mesh that evens out the pressure distribution across the tunnel uh, and just prior to that, there is a series of uh, there's a honeycomb flow straightener that uh, sets the flow to be flowing true to the, the direction of the tunnel. It's a closed loop tunnel, so the air that's in the tunnel is, is continuously pumped around. Being a closed system, if you carry on pumping you know, 500 horsepower of energy into a, an air system, it will get hotter and hotter. So in this corner we have a floor to ceiling radiator system uh, to maintain a constant temperature. This is the moving ground plane. Um, it's like a big belt sander. It uh, is controlled um, by uh, guidance rollers and sensors sensing the edge of the belt. And we can run the tunnel up to 140 miles an hour. So the air moves at 140 miles an hour, the moving ground plane moves at 140 miles an hour. Well, if you think about it, when a, when a car drives down the road in still air, the air is still, the ground is still, and so there's no relative motion between the ground and the air. When you test in a wind tunnel, 
The model is still and the air moves, so you move the ground at the same speed as the air to have that same condition between the air and the ground. And uh, on a car with low ground clearance, like a race car, um, the airflow under the car is very much influenced by the fact that the car moves over the ground as well as moves through the air. We were recommended to Chip by uh, one of his associates and um, uh, he's come to us with a view to uh, helping him out on his uh, electric race bike project. Um, Chip and his crew, he's got some very talented engineers working on it, um, but we feel there are certain things at Swift that we can bring to the party um, to aid him in his project. Initially, we're going to be helping with perhaps aerodynamics, uh, testing in the wind tunnel, and then from there we'll probably move into CFD, uh, computational fluid dynamics the virtual wind tunnel. Um, we can also help with uh, CNC machining. We have a CNC machining facility. We can help with uh, composites. We have uh, extensive knowledge and capabilities in manufacturing of composite components. So it's really Chip's leading the project and we're um, going to be assisting him uh, in his endeavours. <laughs>